But if you're in this room, I'd like you to just raise your hand if you remember where you were the morning of September 11th, 2001. My first reaction was probably the same as many or almost every person in this room. How can I help? And then just a few hours later, I found myself taking off in a jet that I'd never flown, flying with a wingman who I'd never met, flying in airspace that I'd never flown in. And yet, I felt like I was flying that mission for the hundredth time. That is the power of the training and the standardization that we've developed, not just in the Air Force, but in the Army, in the Marine Corps, in the Navy, in the Coast Guard, that you can plug and play people anywhere in the world under the most challenging circumstances and get them up to speed and execute at a high level very quickly. The morning of 9-11, I was somebody who happened to be stuck in the right place at the right time with the appropriate training. I saw something was terribly wrong. I didn't know why it happened, but I knew something was wrong and I wanted to help. This kind of brings me to the point of my presentation today, veterans. There are 18 and a half million veterans alive in this country today. Sadly, many are homeless. Many are unemployed. So how can we help our fellow veterans? I would personally ask you over the next 90 days to make a personal commitment. I would like you to each identify just one veteran somewhere in your world, somewhere in your community. Take time to hear what their story is, how they ended up where they are, where they really want to go. Remind them of the incredible skill sets they bring to the job force and how successful they can be. I would say that these vets have given a lot for us and I think it's not too much to ask that we give just a little bit back to them. God bless you and God bless America. It's really been an honor to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs>